In this video, I will add this uh, Bluetooth receiver 5.0 to this vintage uh, speaker 5.1. Let's begin. I hope that you have seen my previous video when I put a receiver like this on other model of speaker. Almost like this one, but inside it's completely different. And I hope that you remember that in uh, that uh, model I didn't had 5 volts and I have to make some uh, improvements. But uh, in this one we have 5 volts here. I will show you. Now let's check this voltage. This should be 12 volts uh, DC but it's 15 volts here we have two stabilizer this one is 9 volts as you can see and this one it's 5 volts so in this uh, video will be very very simple because we, we have access to 5 volts so, supply for this module this uh, support only 5 volts input uh, voltage so we have 5 volts here and we'll connect the input from uh, this uh, PCB main disadvantage of this solution will be that this will not uh, turn on and off from a power button in the front standby if we turn on the power from this main button then the module will be turned off but when we turn on the power from main button but uh, standby button is on off this will be supplied but i choose this solution to make it very very simple for you now I will tell you what I will do. I will uh, take 5 volts from here and I will supply this PCB and the output of this module will be connected on uh, one input from here. So I put everything together. I took down uh, two capacitors from uh, TV input. I connected this gray wire to the output of the Bluetooth receiver. The black and uh, red wires are from the supply, 5 volt supply. Now let's power this up. For the first time, and let's see what happens. The LED is blinking, it's a good sign. Now let's measure if the voltage is good. 5 volts. We have 5 volts here. I don't know why the LED is not blinking. So we have 5 volts. Let's turn on and off. Now the LED is blinking, the receiver search a device to connect and now let's connect to VHM314, it seems it's connected. Now let's play some music, I've connected this satellite and uh, there is annoying sound. 
of high frequency. Now let's play. It's working, but I have to get rid of this annoying sound. First of all, I will disconnect uh, the ground wire from the input to see if it's a ground loop. So I've disconnected the ground wire. Now let's see. Now the, the speaker doesn't want to power on anymore. And let's see why. This is 5 volts supply for the microcontroller. As you can see, it's not stable. This is the input of the stabilizer 7805, and that's the 12 volts. So here it's a resistor put before the stabilizer. And as you can see, there is a drop of voltage, 8 volts. Before we put this module, the drop of voltage was only 1 volts. Now we have to exchange this resistor with smaller value. And if it's not working, I will replace the stabilizer with a greater one. I've replaced this resistor before was 150 ohm. Now I put 100 ohm. Before was a 9 volts drop of, vo drop of voltage here. Now let's see what we have. Let's power this up. We have a 5 volts drop of voltage. Now let's measure the output of the IC stabilizer. It's 5 volts. It's stable, 5 volts. Let's measure the input of the IC stabilizer. It's 10, 10 volts. It's good. Now voltages are good and all it's working, but there is this annoying noise. High frequency noise. It's working, it's high quality, but we have to get rid of this annoying noise. I've made a lot of tests and now that's the final solution. I will tell you what I did. I removed this ground wire. This is signal ground input, but when I connect to the PCB, it will make a ground loop, I will show you. Now there is no noise, but when I, I will touch this uh, to the PCB, I hope that you can, can hear. I took the ground from main ground here, and uh, plus 5 volts from uh, IC stabilizer. You will, will see the schematic. Now I will put this uh, resistor on the other part of the PCB and I will put everything together. Now let's make some music tests. This is connected to the Bluetooth. Now I have to tell you that I am happy with this result. 
because it's a good sound quality and there is almost no noise on the speakers. If you have any questions, please put it in a comment. And if you find it helpful, please give a big like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.